with our road designed and our drainage network created. Now it's time to take a look at quantities. On the drainage tab, we can select the quantities command to pull up the amount of quantities needed for our drainage network. Let's zoom into our design road, which is highlighted in pink. And when I select it, it's going to pick all of the drainage network parts that are associated with this design road. So you can see we have our culverts, our pipelines, outfalls. We also have an inlet uh, and no manholes. And you may be asking, well, where does the inlet come from? And uh, there's a development going on uh, in the at the end of this road, this is a new subdivision going in that has a drainage network that drains out into the road and will connect up to a future drainage network there. You can see that there's an inlet with a box here in the middle of the road. And we didn't add that as a part of the design road. Uh, I simply drug it from my subdivision down into the road and it associated it with the design road. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to calculate the earthworks for this road. Uh, I'm going to select my station increment at 50 feet. And we simply hit the play button and it quickly calculates cut and fill for us. Uh, you can see that we are in a fill situation overall with this. Uh, I can see that uh, my net fill is 3,218 cubic yards. And if I want to run a report for this, I can generate a report. This generates as a CSV file. I'm simply opening it up in Notepad here. You can see that it lists the station, uh, cut, cut area, uh, fill, and it lists all of the information that we need uh, for our cut and fill as we go down. And one thing that I do want to point out, the reason I'm scrolling down, is it omitted uh, the information at the intersection so as not to pull in any bad values.